In Deutschland ist Schwedenkrimi nach wie vor ein Label, das für große Verkaufserfolge steht. Wie wichtig als Inspiration waren für Sie andere schwedische Autoren wie Höval Wallö, Henning Mankell, Jonesbö oder Stieg Larsson? Asher Höwe in Weilö und Frutero Lucentini gibt es kaum bedeutende Autorenduos im krimi bereich Ist das vor allem eine Ego-Sache oder liegt es daran, dass gute Kollektivarbeit handwerklich einfach kompliziert ist? That's a hard question to answer. I think I think it can ask from our perspective. We come from television, and in television, it's very common to work in teams with more writers. So for us, it's not a strange thing to go. But I think traditionally, writing has been a very lonely one-person job. So it, it, you know, but I, I don't. I don't think it's. I think it really depends on on the team and how you are as a person. If it's better to work like very self or with someone. Yeah, it is, and I think also a lot of. A lot of writers have um, like their vision of how it should be, and it's, uh, it, it could take everything from, from one year to eight years to, to get that book right, and then you can probably need to have just you working on it. We don't, we don't really have that. We, we are more of a we, we're more writers. We are commercial writers. We, we like to tell a good story in the best way we can, but To do that, we just find out that we we work better in team. Um, but then you have to find the right the right teammate, and that that might be hard. Gibt es bei Ihnen als Autoren auch dieses Good Cop Bad Cop Ding? Oder anders gefragt, ticken Sie beide beim Schreiben Ihrer Kriminalromane ähnlich, was die Brutalität der Verbrechen angeht, die psychologische Tiefe der Figuren, den Humor? Well, we write actually quite different um, when because we, we don't write together. We write separately and put it together in the end. And if you read a very first draft of the entire book, um, it's you can easily see that, that this has been two writers doing this. Um, so that's that's what we do in the end of the process is to to kind of blur out the differences between us. Um, no, we, we write. Uh, I think we write quite differently. Um, We're also very extremely different people in the way we attack uh, work. Yeah, How yeah, we, well, You know, I, I mean, you. I mean, I always think the easy way is like you start a day with going back. Yeah. I start with a day of like going forward, and then, you know, I never look back as much as you know, and then, so we we have very different um, ideas how to write, but what we we share. Is I do think that some of the things we share is like we like the same stuff, so you know we never argue about you know how the people should be killed or the psychology behind it. It's more of like the style of writing or the you know it's it's so we share what the color is. It's, it's easy way to say it. Like for me, my red is Hans red, so we don't argue about what the red is, but we can discuss if we should do it this way or this way. But we you know are similar enough but different enough to sort of. Bridge that very well. 
Sie haben beide viel fürs Fernsehen gearbeitet, als Drehbuchautoren und Produzenten. Läuft bei Ihnen eigentlich ständig eine Filmspur der Szenen mit, an denen Sie gerade arbeiten? Sebastian Bergmann ist hochkompliziert, sexsüchtig, unzuverlässig, in seinen Methoden nicht gerade zimperlich. Gibt es für Sie einen Zeitpunkt, an dem versteht, diese Figur als egomanes Ekelpaket ist auserzählt? Hier kann es nicht mehr weitergehen? So Hans would call me, you're making it too nice, you know, and then, so I think with that dynamic, we, if as long as we have that dynamic of like almost, oh, and then, you know, because if you notice, like every time he's getting close to being nice, boom, he crashes. So I think that's the secret to him, that, you know, we hope that he could change and maybe he can, and then, no. But in the last, in the, in the, in the last two books, actually, he had good things happening to him. Uh, they turned bad, but still, uh, And I think this, the, the I don't think we could probably make him any more of, of a bastard. I, th I think that's going to be hard. Um, what we can do is is I think kind of neutralize it a little with giving him see more of him, giving him see see more of how he works, what makes him work. Uh, we do that and we, we we look at that a little in book five. I'm probably going to do it more in book six. But the, the fun thing with Sebastian is that it's why he's so fun writing is that he is a clever man. He's a very intelligent man, and he knows that he's 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 constantly making the wrong decisions in his life, just to punish himself for couldn't save his daughter, couldn't save his wife. So, and that was fun. If you have a character that's that's really clever, really good, he can. He's really good with other people, but he has no idea how to heal himself. And if there's two alternative, one right and one wrong, he always chooses wrong. And that is that is that's a fun character to work with. Somebody who deliberately always chooses wrong. Um, and depending on the choices, you you kind of could develop him that way. And maybe I'm I'm saying maybe in the future he might choose right at some point. Who knows? For a second, and then. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe we even. No, no, we maybe. brought in some happiness in that one. I know. All our characters, all our characters are dysfunctional in one way or the other, and we we got that from I think we got it from a few uh, readers and um, reviews that everybody's quite miserable. So there's there's, there's a little happiness in that there's one. A little happiness in this one. We're trying your happiness. Love and happiness. We kind of don't like it. Totally new for us. <laughs> Happy people, how happy happy happy. 
you know, I think drama and writing is really about exploring the other things, the complications of life and those stuff. And happy people, I love to be happy, but it's simply not a good story.